Ooh. I like uh -huh. it. Oh. Mm. What is going on here? Whoa! I, she looks ugly as hell. What's it to you, porcupine head? That's crazy. I ain't deserve all that. That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> yeah, I. She did it, and she should die for it. Die! Damn, why you got all the characters that want to die? I don't know. Why did you give them to me? You played this game before! I didn't! You chose it! You chose her! Oh. I did. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, now let's did. not get ahead of ourselves now. We need to detain her, honestly. Somebody need to give her a sedative. This is the court sure of law, and the help. witness will remain calm. The witness will remain calm. Bring it down. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> this <is> silly me. <laughs> I did, um, like, lose it. I guess I did. <laughs> Oink. Mary. Honestly, she, she tripping. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <laughs> you know what would, you know would have been an easy route out of that? Hmm. Oh, dear. If she would have said, I read up on the last case. Yeah, that would have been It would have been, but she's not that smart, so... Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May was capping. She knew the weapon was a clock because... He had heard about it. You agree with that, Jake? I don't know. Hold on. Maybe she heard about it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm s okay. Okay. But never mind. No, 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 no. Why was there doubt in your mind? I, I, we, we need to know this part. We need to know this part. Okay. My doubt was was like probably because that Larry, that she and Larry had dated previously. <laughs> but in the last case, so Larry made. A I'm sorry, I overthinking this game. Hey, to be honest, no, no, no. Larry seemed like the type to go after that. He is. Thank though. you, Frost. That's why it was funny because it was it. it Loki seems realistic. That's why it was funny. Nah, nah, but she definitely heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a Glock. She heard? Mm-hmm. That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I, I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. But you can. Show me the evidence proving the witness heard this was the murder weapon. And it was a clock. Had to have been the wiretap, right? <gasps> the wiretap! From yep, cell phone! the wiretap. Take this! Have a look at this, Your Honor. You see this right here? <gasps> that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Is this admissible? Because you found this in somebody's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May. Hmm? You were tapping the victim, Miss Maya. Miss Mia Fay. Wow, Miss Mia Fay, April May. Okay. Miss Mia Fay's phone. Were you not? <laughs> I was just thinking he quiet as shit. Is he thinking? Your Honor, this is irrelevant. Nothing relevant. He ain't thinking nothing. your objection? Like, he ain't thinking nothing special. I'm not entirely sure it is. Objection overruled. That's crazy. It troubles me that our witness is in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the wiretap was with that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have one thing to prove. Did the victim ever say the weapon was a clock on the phone? She literally. 
Yes. Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? Here's my proof. Listen. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the clock is a weapon. Yeah, it's literally right there. She said she took out the it's components on the, of the clock. Take this. I present the defendant's cell phone once more. Again. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. It's getting serious around here. Why the, mu the music kind of going? Well, no, it's not. Never mind. We don't need to hear about this again. It's a clock. Beep. We're done. Done. Miss April May. Why was she tapping? Using a wiretap to listen to this conversation. What you say, Jake? Why was she tapping though? Yeah, that's a that that's is not that's what we have not figured out yet. Why is she tapping? That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I. I. Whoa. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Love, love, love. She tripping. What is it? She need to be. I don't, I don't trust nobody on this. Judge, or uh, witness. Uh, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May. Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! I make more money than you, though. No, you're broke. <laughs> I'm balling, you're broke. <laughs> That's crazy. It's no fair, all of you ganging up on me like that. Nah, Poor sis. Edgeworth, bro probably, bro probably looking like, bruh. <laughs> he bro, I know he is stressed out, he gotta be. He's gonna get so I'm the bad girl? Is that it? Is that it? Think about oh his two goodness. witnesses that he just called. Both of them have been fucking up. He wanna kill somebody. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> that did it. The court seems the the court has seen the real Miss April now. I've done it. Now to deal the final blow. She didn't do it. Why the no. wiretap, though? Why the wiretap? <laughs> I'm like, that's the question we want to answer. Why is she tapping? Why'd you tap her phone? Ooh, the music. You said, ooh, the music? I'm telling you, this music be lit. Answer the question. D do I have to? Yes. Yes, yes, you do. Isn't this a murder trial? This isn't tippity tapping or irrelevant. She's saying exactly what Edward wanted her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly caught that element. That finger is about as like, big as his face. They do be having big hands. I'm not even going to cap. While the court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! Huh. I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that e evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, oh. she ran right through Get out of my head. Damn it, she's good. Well, you had the first man who saw that. And of course I can. And will. I... I... You can't be serious. There's no way. Oh my god, I hate her. Way. I say way. Oh, I'm sure you, Mr. Lawyer. I'm serious. Huh. You think Edward just pulls out a cigarette at one point? Okay. He's like, I'm done with this. So the I killing can't. happened around 9 o'clock at night? Okay. Okay. Why, that's when I was just getting room service for my sweet bellboy. Oh yeah, things did go, Oh, bellboy! We were like, no! <laughs> room service? Alright, bruh. Iced coffee, I believe it was. 
That should hurt my leg. Ice coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, they smell so you have regular cold coffee. Okay. What Ice coffee? This? What does this have to do with it? Can begin this up? Ask the bell boy. <laughs> I don't think we will. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. Nobody said that, but like, she was still tapping what, her what? phone. Wait, that animation. On. That animation. <laughs> He, that's a good question. <laughs> that nigga slid in there though. He was like, nope, she didn't have nothing to do with it. So where does that leave us? Because it is my great huh? displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to be of tapping the whip the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant. Maya Faye, commit murder. They're going to just let her walk away. That nigga slid in there quick with that to make sure that he was like, nope, I win still. There's no way I can win. Unless I tie Miss May to the murder scene somehow. Okay, let's... Oh, well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, make a sucker. Oh boy, is a witness or examine Miss May? James, what you thinking? Because I'm... Oh my god. We're trying to tie her to the murder. Shit. That's what I'm saying. Okay. See, personally, I know what I would do, but, uh... I mean, like, what does the bellboy have to do with this, though? If we continue examining Miss May, we pretty much going nowhere. Hmm. We're at a dead end. We're no, May. we're not at a dead end. We're not at a dead end. You're saying me? You're saying Miss May? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. Okay. I think we aren't timed on these decisions. Y'all be sitting here like now. Huh? Oh my God. Now, okay. Now we're trying to prove. That she saw the, that, that she saw the thing happen, right? Right. That the uh... okay, okay, okay. We're trying to. I think maybe that we should. I just broke up. What's up? Do we do we call the bellboy? Okay, that's the closest thing to an answer that we've made up so far. So why why not? Let's call the bellboy. <laughs> The bellboy literally corroborates yeah, or breaks her story, so why would we not call him? Oh yeah, you're right. The defense would like to call Look, the bellboy. We're stupid, okay. <laughs> no, we're not. No, no we're not. Y'all made the right Rocky. decision. Y'all just took a long time <laughs> getting there. Y'all made the right decision. We just took a minute to get there. Oh, I think you've sunk in quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. There's no way. What's your reason? What's up? Because I hold that wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one, con one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Faye. That is my condition. What? That doesn't make sense. What? But it's the only thing we can do. I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Yeah. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? We got no other choice. You're right, we Grace. Don't. We got no other choice. That's Let's accept that. Can do. <laughs> yeah. like, it's up. It's up. I got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Ooh. 
You fell right into my trap. This is not Yu-Gi-Oh, sir. You're not supposed to say that you out loud. You activated my trap card. <laughs> right, he said. Uh-oh. Uh, um, wait. Very well, too late. Trapped your ass, stupid. The court calls the hotel bellboy into question, or on the stand, whatever. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. That's crazy. Oh my god. Who is this? Oh, nobody decided. I don't think we had a bellboy person, did we? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't think we did. Because he did talk. We heard him yesterday, but I just don't remember who voiced him. Neither do I. I guess it was me. Yes, sir. Okay. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. Happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy. So without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. I want him to sound like Jarvis from, um, or Vision, I guess his name is now, in the MCU. That's how he sounds in my head. I'm the head bellboy of this fine Gatewater Hotel in business of four, four generations. I believe, right. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss Mac. She asked right. for an iced coffee to be brought to her room at nine on the dot, sir. I didn't find a problem. <clears throat> I brought it to her precisely at the request of time, of course. Why are you looking at her like oh. that? You see that? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I had a seat. All right. The defense may begin its cross examination. Right. I'm ready, I hope. This is it. I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now. Maya will be finished. So, Jinx, you seeing what I'm seeing? The only thing I have is that she was out of her room when he delivered it, so she couldn't have sought it to begin with. Um, uh, what That's I'm the seeing... the only thing I have. What I'm seeing... Is that uh she requested the tea she requested the iced coffee, which should not take an hour to make at nine. Eight, eight, eight an hour. An hour. And I mean an hour after she got it. I wanna press that. Which one? Not that message right there, but the one right after it. Like I think it's right after it. Okay. Yeah, I think I wanna I think I wanna press that. Hold it. Hold it. Good sir. Nine on the dot. You said. Oh, oh no, he's focusing on the dot. Or no, on the dot. You say. Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. That's how I be talking to. All her. right. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What evidence we got? Nothing. He ain't got nothing yeah, to do with nothing. This. He ain't got really nothing to do with this. He's a complete third party. Okay. Mm. I guess fourth party. So he, we got nothing on him? We got nothing on him. Can you go forward? This is a for this is a force loss. I well I don't wanna give you the hint, but I feel like it's actually kind of important. Hmm. Deliver the iced coffee to our guest, Miss. Okay, herself. Go back. Like I just need to read this from the beginning. Whole thing. Just. And the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. Okay. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Okay. This kind of be brought for nine on the top, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the ice coffee to. Okay, okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. 
I'm really gonna help. Like, what did she? What did she say? Shorter? I think Okay. All right, just making sure that's same. And now I'm gonna die. All right. Now, I think I want to press the statement after the one that I pressed before. Is that okay, Nick? Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm lost here. Yeah. Oh, why did I let me At precisely the time. Precisely 9, 8, 9, then? Okay. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely. 9 p.m., sir. Damn, you stole my life. <laughs> oh, my fault. My fault. You can take this one. How can you be so sure? This name was quite insistent that I brought, uh, be brought back. Hello, Bellboy, Tiki. I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 p.m. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of 9, sir. Well, how should be so particular about the time? She said it was like a nine when she saw the thing. Is all that is lies. We already uh, discovered that all that is lies. Now she's got, oh, oh. she's got a witness to corroborate this story that she just told. And what is that again? I got iced coffee at 9 p.m. The bellboy, you gotta ask the bellboy. He can confirm. That's what her story is. Bro, is in fact confirming. He's confirming hard. <laughs> he confirming hard as hell, I know. He's a good guest man. He is, but like, what, is he, what reason does he have to lie? Hmm. Is he really, like, he ain't involved in any way, is he? I don't think so. Bro, got weird hair, though. He do? He reminds me of ice cream. I don't know why. Yeah, it's like, hmm. It's like Neopolitan without the thing. Hmm. I don't know why I said Neopolitan when there was no white either. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are just lost then, huh? I am definitely lost. Good lord. Good. Frosty, do we ask for a hint? Uh, I guess so. Okay, so my hint I shall give is... My pride. My hint is what Jinx asked for earlier. Press everything. Okay, press everything then. You don't do okay. it all the time, but like sometimes you, you just trap. So you gotta press. Okay. The Hold it. For what exactly is it you do at the hotel? He's a bellboy. What? Oh, oh why? Anything fault, required of me, sir. I check a guest. I check out guests. I clean rooms. I make beds. I even deliver room service, sir. I check this man personally. Are you always so, so prim? Like hood cinema, Mr. Rocket. You will refrain from asking frivolous questions. Did we press this already? Okay. Uh, no. We didn't press this one. No. Hold it. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did she have, uh, not only did I see her in her all her stunning ratings but i also heard her voice and then i saw them and i <clears throat> um oh. the point being oh, no. i remember her quite well sir you gotta relax dude you gonna say that in court can we take away his credibility just for that yes i wish anyway. we could we already pressed that already pressed that too all right this yes we gotta press one. this one hold on you are sure it was miss april may herself oh absolutely sir absolutely Yes, then, sir, as in so absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, the guest, sir, she favored me with, um, embracer, sir. Em, em, embracer? Is that, is that French for embrace? It's not. She sucked his dick. It's French for kiss, oh. sir. But Never not a mind. French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Nah, Jinx might be spitting. Why would she I have done Jinx that? I think Jinx is spitting too, but like... I believe, sir, she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Jinx is right. <laughs> I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Hmm. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is... is that it? Tisk tisk. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. That's what I've been saying, Edgeworth. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. 
It was a bit tedious. Witness. The witness may leave the stand. Can't let this happen, can I? Protest. Protest. We definitely gonna protest. Like, what? Bring Maya until it's wait. backwards! Please, wait! Yes, the, the, does the defense have anything to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection. Your Honor, I must have been. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really my chance, and this is really it. This is really it. This is my last chance. I... <laughs> I'm gonna ask him about Oh, God. Uh, room service. We already just, we literally just went the through that. The whole testimony was room service. Us. Yeah, the whole testimony was room service. Bed making. Bed making, that doesn't seem like it has anything to I'm thinking check-in. Okay, I'm thinking check-in, personally. Same. Okay. Check-in. Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was she was very beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was such a disappointment, really. I see. Excuse me. What exactly was a disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir, but even I have- I'd have little chance with her lover there. Hmm? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, rather quite. Oh boy, tell us the truth now. What was that? Did Miss May check in with another person? Objection. Nah, nah. I object. That was objectionable. There's no way. What'd you say, Frost? There's no way. There's no way. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Because it wasn't important to the testimony we were having. To be fair, yeah. Well, you see, well, sir. You were- you didn't ask. Exactly, you didn't ask! Nice try. He literally didn't ask, though. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Not really. Uh, yes, quite, indeed. It was, uh, the girl barista there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I was in specifically asked, sir. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you so You hold me! <laughs> I've done it. I've won. That's it. That nigga hold me. You Ms. saw that? Miss Mage checked into a twin room with a man. He a man. A man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. That's getting interesting. Your Honor, we just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold it possible. I hold it that it is impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was. Man with Miss April May. Like, like what? Uh, the man with Miss April May. I thought that was like Jinx. What you think? The man with Miss April May. What I'm saying. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oof. This nigga be 
Molly. Your Honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yeah, Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in that room at the time of the murder. My, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from the tour. Ah! Upstart amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Man, he used Luda. to make I was I was thinking he used to make good music. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look fully into this matter. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, that is all today for the trial of Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. He gonna hit you in the head with something, like a big rock or something, because you you hoeing his career for some reason. I don't know. He tripping. That... I can't believe you did it. You're right! You were amazing in there! Really? I think I might be your newest fan. I'm not. <laughs> You're rude. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other turn was pretty cool, too. Yeah, that's me. Huh? That face of his with his wide eyes and trembling lips. It sent shivers up my spine. Who is this? Oh, it's Index. Index, but she just wants yeah. to listen. Hi, Indy. Sorry, sorry. If you say so. Damn, you just gonna read her line? Oh, that is you. Never mind. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? No. Um, what do you see about that? No, not yet. Oh, I see. I feel bad for Maya. I'm not gonna cap. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she was learning her charms won't work every time. Oh. That the internet sucks, and I felt that. Probably at the detention center now. Um, I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. This. Don't worry. I'll find him. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. He's not gonna find him by tomorrow. Frosty, don't jinx us like that. Jinx is like I'm not even safe yet. I still might go to jail. I asked for a full record exactly. of April May's testimony. How might come in handy during the trial tomorrow? Now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all cap. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. How you lie that much? You need to be in jail forever. You got her testimony. I don't know how much good this will do for me at all for now. Anyway, it's time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. 
Why doesn't belong in that detention center? And it's up to me to set her free. Continue. This game is crazy. <laughs> I, this, is, this game is crazy. I told it's you. It's infuriating. Alright, but I'm going to end it there. I'm going to probably split this piece up. Uh, and if it was split up, you already know that. But yeah, that's it for this one. See y'all later. Bye! Bye.